anything you want to do is possible. If you want to paint, you can paint. One arm, two arms, no arms. If you want to paint, you're going to paint because you want to. It is the unlikely coordination between mouth, brush, and canvas that's invigorated 20-year-old Jordan Soto, giving his life new direction. Painting distracts me. I like it, and it makes me concentrate and makes me happy. Trees, fruits, views, settings. I like the colors and how they look, uh, the reflection. Speaking through an interpreter, Soto, a quadriplegic from Mexico, describes how he ended up here. A childhood electrical accident left him without working limbs. It's very hard that as an eight-year-old, one night I had legs and arms living normal, and then the next day, no legs, no arms, everything was taken from me. Within days, he'd been accepted and moved to Shriners Hospital in Sacramento, where he began developing a new passion, one that tested his practice and patience. It's just repetition, painting and painting. One comes out bad, one comes out good. I told myself, no, I'm going to continue, I'm going to continue, and then I, I just started getting the hang of it. However, only recently, as word of his works got out, he realized he could sell his paintings to help pay the bills. I don't put a price on my paintings. The people know how much they're worth, what the value is, and what they're willing to give. With his family in Mexico in treatment here, Soto hopes stroke by stroke his hobby will cover the costs. My son, he's four months old. He's he's the reason I continue. He motivates me and <laughs> for him it's it's what I do. Setting aside his disability and defining himself as an artist. I take a lot of pride of what I do and how I do it. I want to be known for my paintings. In Sacramento, Tom Miller, KCRA 3 News.